good uh, good evening to everyone uh firstly i think we we've always known it's not going to be an easy match it has never been easy between us and Marisbeck because ernst always comes with a lot of changes and shape and all that just like today we anticipated that ryan ray will be playing more as a right back that inverts into a center back to have a three but suddenly today he had morgan who was playing more like an inverted center back and uh, stevich with uh, solana were the ones that were giving wing play yet normally he plays with uh, morgan being the one who gives wing play on the left and stevich on the right with uh, ryan ray inside so that is something we expected from him because we know he changes a lot but structurally we are prepared for that we had worked on many build-up schemes and also pressing schemes which helped us to to be able to deal with uh, what we were facing though in the early stages of the match i must say we we struggled to take to take care of uh, ryan ray who was playing as a six today uh, then we had to try and adjust our team accordingly and fortunately the players managed to grasp it quickly and it helped us to be able to have the right balance to to dominate and also to have some penetration in our game but uh, i must say they were a little bit stubborn first half but we knew that when we rotate the ball a lot uh, at some point they'll they'll get tired and give us some openings very good work on the high press and co good counter pressing from the group which uh, helped us even to get the penalty from Motupa's run and uh, from there the game became more open and it gave us a little bit of a chance to 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 dominate with at least a goal and forcing them to come out a little bit with a high line which could have given us a little bit more with the space behind their defense but i didn't i don't think we used that very well on the few moments we got on the break but uh, generally i think the boys worked very hard we we all wanted to get a result in this match because it was very important for us to to try and use these games in hand the best way we can because we're still going to have a very tough program ahead of us thank you okay coach just just a quick one for me the injury of timbers one how bad it is because you, you took him off in um in the in the first 12 minutes just uh, latest on him how bad the injury is at this stage our uh, diagnosis of the injury would not really help us i think we 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 decided to take him out early because we did not want to risk having more problems but uh, truth be told i think we we were all scared when we when we when we saw him because we thought it's a very bad muscle injury but according to him and the doctors it does not look like it's a grade 2 it can be a strain or a grade 1 which would easily be sorted out probably within the, the week or seven to ten days. We are hopeful he'll be back very soon. Good afternoon or good evening, Coach. Uh, congratulations on the three vital points going forward. Uh, Alfonso coming in in the last 25, 30 minutes. Are you guys, uh, is it a situation of you guys building him up for the big matches, uh, the big tournament that is the same, uh, the Champions League? Obviously, you know, continental football is, is quite different. And that number nine, the tall number nine is needed. Is, is, it, is it the reason why you guys brought him uh, in in the last 25, 30? And secondly, Coach, uh, uh, Mukuma, uh, I mean, obviously his talent is, is a second to none. He's got a very sweet and educated left foot, uh, can pass it, can mark it as well. Uh, he's also very good in terms of his dead ball situations. Uh, what is he like off the pitch uh, in terms of, you know, integration with the first team players, the senior players, uh, his personality? What type of a player is he off the pitch? Thank you. <clears throat> Starting with Afonso, I think we played him because he... He's been showing very good signs in training. He's working very hard. Uh, you saw him even pressing today, which is our identity as a team. And when a player gives you what you want as a coach, you have to give him a chance to play. But it will be premature of me to say, we are preparing him for the Champions League, or we think if we had Afonso, we would be having more goals in the Champions League because differently from what many people think, I think in the Champions League, uh, you need because it depends on the team profile if the opposition you are playing against does not give you as much respect they come at you and when they come at you you need more explosive attackers and uh, that is what has always worked for us 
even when we won the Champions League because we, we were not as respected. Then the Kama Billiards, the Pesitaos, the Keegan Dollies helped us a lot and the Antoine Lafos. And I, I still maintain that in the Champions League, there are a lot of very arrogant uh, teams that want to come at you. And maybe the, the solution is always on the players that uh, people would take for granted, like the, the Peter Shalulilas, the Motupas, uh, the Kemi Terasmas, because not many, not many centre-backs, in, more especially in North Africa, are used to play against quicker attackers. They are mainly used to playing against these big number nines and winning aerial balls. But the moment you bring a little bit of speed and dynamism, uh, you always tend to benefit more. But without deviating much, we believe Afonso is going to help us. He's a very good player, he's a very good finisher, and uh, he's got a very good profile to help us, more especially against teams that are sitting in a little bit. Uh, because when, we, when we've got that situation now, if you put the balls in the box a lot and there's Afonso in the box, they start realizing, hey, we might end up conceding, then they pull out. The moment they pull out from the box, then it may give you a better chance to, to use your quicker players. So he is going to help us, but we have to build him up, not only for the Champions League, but for all the games ahead, because every player at Sundowns is very important. And that is why we're bringing him in. Um, Coming to Promise, Promise uh, is a very nice kid, very vocal, outspoken, and uh, surprisingly, he is the lead singer in the team. If you can listen to him, when, when the team is singing, you must know Promise is the one who is leading in that. If it's not him, maybe it may be a Motobi or Peter Shalulid. So those are the players that are normally leading the team in terms of the music side. But Promise, I think he should, he should consider also recording because he's very good in that space. And his personality is, he's a boy that has got a very bright future, who, who works very hard, which is why we've been playing him regularly. And many people complain why Promise and not so-and-so and not so-and-so. But uh, our bias is more on players that, that give their heart out to the team. He works very hard and he, he fulfills our tactical objectives, both defensively and offensively. And that has always been something that we don't want to move away from because it's the culture of dominating the field, it's the culture of dominating the ball, and he's got the profile to help us in that space. And we do believe he's going to be very helpful for us going forward. Uh, hi, coach. Uh, just to ask two questions. One, Serino, if I'm not mistaken, is missing a third game in a row. Uh, obviously, with your uh, tight schedule, uh, what's the situation there? Um, uh, along with Kermit as well. And at the same time, I just want to ask about um, uh, Gift Mutupa. Obviously, you've mentioned him a lot the last couple of games, but he does obviously also looks a bit uh, toned in terms of he's a little, he's a lot slimmer than when he when he left uh, when he arrived uh, at Sundowns. Is that something that you specifically have been working on on him for him to get to that level or that type of 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 of, of physical um, uh, fitness? Starting with uh, Gaston and uh, Kemit, they were they had some slight injuries. Gaston had a slight groin, and Kemit just a discomfort in his uh, ankle, but uh, it's not something big. I think they'll be ready to, to help us in our match on Sunday. I think they'll both be back, which might be a blessing in disguise after you might not have Mshishi or you might not have Mkulisi both because of an injury and, and, uh, no, no, and also a suspension. But um, Mkulisi does not look bad. He, he said it's just stiffness. So bringing Kemit back and, and uh, because Kemit wanted to play this match, but we, we felt we need him more going forward. We don't want to risk it. Uh, it is very important for us that we, we play players that are always fit enough to help the team. And coming to Kif Motupa, uh, we made him to understand what is expected of him. We made him to understand himself because at times players don't even know they are full potential. And we've always been drilling it in his mind because the capacity that he has, there were many naysayers about, about Mutupa coming here. But uh, I'm sure now they can understand why we brought him because we had to, to work on his ankle. That is the reason that kept him out for long. But the other thing, you are very right, he's always carried maybe an extra four or five kgs. 
and we, we made it a point that we, we tell him before anything else that it's very important that he loses and gets into the right BMI and ready to help us because our game will demand a lot of speed because in the past he would have hamstrings easily because he was always caring a little bit more. And uh, he responded very well, his very professional way, started to improve his diet and all that. And he looked very good even during rehab. And that is why now we are benefiting from that. But I still believe he also has another assignment now to work a little bit more on, on his strength to make sure that he can help us in the bustling African defenders and maybe be a little bit more explosive because I believe there's a lot we can benefit from him. He's got a lot to give to Sundance. Coach, you're on something a bit different. Uh, I'm sure you're by, by now you're aware that uh, you know Safa is appointed a new Bafana Bafana coach. Uh, I just want to check uh, your view on the developments um, and uh, if uh, you were to give him advice, what advice would you give him? It is is a very difficult one. It, it's something that I would really not want to get uh, my hands on. But the truth of the matter is the development of our coaches and our football is also very important. Even if you bring foreign expertise, it is always a very wise move to have some local coaches within that space so that we benefit something from the legacy of that coach that you bring in uh, because we believe maybe it's bringing a little bit more than that South Africans did not have because if somebody brings some scarce skills that South Africa does not have, we will have to support him and see what he offers and learn from him. But uh, I would always be somebody who supports the thinking that South Africans are capable of doing it themselves because one, whoever you bring in, if it, if you can ask him who are the key players at Sundowns, who are the key players at Pirates of Chiefs or Super Sport, he might not even know one. And it will take him time to adjust and understand all the players we have locally and the players we have internationally and to understand their profile. That is why it should be very important for such people to be always surrounded by the people who know the players better and those should be South African coaches. And the culture of having a foreigner with some local full-time assistant coaches, I think it will also help. It benefited Coach Pizzo a lot from Carlos uh, Eduardo Pereira, uh, Alberto, and I believe it can it can help any other South Af any other South African coach that can be given the privilege to work closely with uh, with the coach that has been appointed. But the truth of the matter for me is, I, I just believe sometimes we we don't know what South African coaches are capable of. I think we. We take them for granted. We, we only realize very late what they have. And when we give them opportunities, probably we also don't support them as much as we support the foreigners. And we, we are always going to see them not succeeding. And yet maybe it's because we are not giving them the same sufficient support that we would normally give to a European that is, is coaching South Africa. But I, I do not want to be strong on that space. I just have my views and my opinions, which I believe uh, not many people maybe see it the way I see it, but I think we've had too many foreigners that have not really made a big success to our national team. Just the importance of three points today, uh, you are four points clear ahead of Amazul and also have a chance to make it seven on Sunday against six Galaxy. Your thoughts on that one? It was always important to, to play these games in hand and win these three points because it's very important for us to 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 dominate the space, to put pressure even on the people that are competing against us. Uh, it, it was never going to help us to get a draw today or a loss today. Uh, we've had some hiccups because of the number of games that we played in a very short space of time. And we ended up not being able to have full functionality, but uh, immediately when we got a, a little bit of a breather towards our Paris match, we knew the team would be stronger, probably for the next four or five matches. We will be in a very good space. If we can get an extra day somewhere again, it will it will benefit us because it's really not very fair physiologically on the players. I think it, it has got more damage than good, but uh, not everybody seems to be aware of that.